Before the video begins, you should know that I have my own ARK server on Steam called Mesa. It's 10x with 20x breeding, 6 man tribes, cool cave changes, and it's wiping June 10th. I will be there getting content if you want a shot at being in a video, the link is down below in the description. Friday is right around the corner. One of the biggest ARK PvP servers is wiping and I still don't have a tribe. This server has 7 man tribes and all I had was dopey. That means we need 5 more. Now, instead of making our own tribe, which ultimately always ends in disaster, we decided to go to the best place to find the tribe the hashtag tribe recruitment channel i typed a basic message hoping to attract already made up tribes that just needed two more pieces to their puzzle with only a few hours left for wipe i finally met the person i would join powelix 202 he wanted to claim red tree and kroner pillar anyways i asked if their english was good and he said yeah kind of two cubans a german a saudi and three poles what's the worst that could happen on top of that, we are really experienced players, so what could go wrong, for real? Um, yo guys, by the way, where's Connor Pillar? Before we continue with Dopey Stupidity, I think this is the perfect time to reveal that Revelations is a 6-man 10x Windows 10 Xbox server that is wiping Friday, June 10th. It's bound to have good pop with over 3,000 players in the Discord, stats are balanced for good PvP, and there are no alliances. Link is down below in the description. Right ahead of me was Corner Pillar. Wipe had just begun, and I used my kit Bloodstalker to make it all the way up there. I'm here in the Bloodstalker. Are you hitting Bloodstalker on corner? I'm here. I'm at, I'm at the corner of the map. I'm at the exact corner. There was obviously another tribe here as we had over six Bloodstalkers and it wasn't all of us. Quickly, I began to farm exactly what we needed at the moment, stone foundations. All right, I need to be invited. I have foundations on me. So these foundations are ours? Sadly, taking the pillar wouldn't be as easy as I thought. Those foundations were from the enemies trying to take our pillar. I then came to the bottom of corner to get invited by Dopey into the tribe. Who, who's grenading? Who's grenading here? I don't know. To this day, I don't know who was throwing those grenades, but what I do know is that we were having the most awkward Bloodstalker fight of all Ark history, as we kept hitting the ground and never a player. I got picked. Or maybe I spoke too soon. Damn, I can't get out. A hundred percent chance of escape. What is this? Once that Bloodstalker let go of me, I couldn't get back on mine as it was on neutral and I died. As I made my way back here, the corner pillar was now on a full scale war with Darius and Bloodstalkers. Thankfully, we were able to place some stone foundations, so part of the pillar was ours. The pillar can only be defended by Darius for so long, so I went to Extinction to start farming some defense units I found, as well as enforcers. Quickly after that, I transferred over to Crystal Isles to farm the polymer. Then I did the Doad mission on Gen 1, which gives me a lot of points, and it also gave me tons of soups. While I was farming the missions, Dopey actually got a mining drill from the bp cave and i would take this to aberration to farm keratin and metal later on scorched earth i tried to farm some silk but bro bro, bro. i guess i just had to be satisfied with flint and stone after a long trip away from home i finally made it back to base to see quite some progress we just had heavies and some guy was very open to receiving our bullets Oh. <laughs> got melted. Our first taste of element would come from the lunar biome at the coordinates 4020 inside of this cave where I could farm element with my mining drill. And me and you are so bad at PvP. Ah. I also knocked out a parasaur which was high level and perfect to flex in our base, but a guy in a spino thought otherwise. Oh, okay, you just had to do my parasaur like that, huh? And then he has the audacity of just leaving, just walking away. Alright, I'm gonna get a black pearls and we need metal. What do we need it for? The tech rep, of course. And I was already on gen getting them black pearls. I didn't leave the metal up for another teammate, I went to aberration and farmed it again. Said he wants smoke. I don't really see it though. So don't kick me, please. Kick him. Okay, bye, guys. Bye bye. See you never. Kick him. <laughs> Funny part is, he thinks you were joking. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't long enough before I saw myself farming element again. But this time, I farmed the entire pit. Now we're getting that early. While turning the shards into scrolls to be able to transfer, I saw a guy in a Bloodstalker flying right by. Oh my. Oh, check. No, he definitely sees you. If he goes there, he's definitely gonna see you. He didn't go there, he just left. Dope! <laughs> nah. Yo! Come here! Let me invite you! Dope, you ever f the girl with asthma? 
After hours of productive work, it was time to do Lava Golem. All right, guys, so look at the video that Adobe brought. He brought a level 130, and it was originally level 80. After three hours inside of Golem with a Velo with 5% melee, we finally killed the Golem, and of course, there were people fighting outside. Before the fight began, we had already lost, as we were so clueless that we were using nets when they were disabled on players. What? How did I not net him? Eventually, their cat Fabi shredded my prim legs. During the naked walk of shame back to base, I then realized something. You can't net players in this, by the way. Can I say that earlier? No, I just realized because I, I netted and it didn't work. So I don't know, we just gave our kid away. I then went back to farming and something relatable happened. At least I hope it's relatable. Go for the turrets. Okay, bro. Okay. Of course. Luckily, I came back in a bloodstalker and I was able to recover my body full of polymer. Alright, I got my body back. When it Chris Damon. Bro, can you do something? Like, stop telling me what we need. <laughs> <laughs> the next thing I would do is go farm crystal, but not because Dopey told me to. There, oh, there's people farming. Oh, I have three shotgun shells. What do I do? I'm, oh, they, they, I think they've, they, they've learned of my presence. One, two. Okay, now you prefer. Oh, Terry. All right, Terry's put in the work. What was supposed to be another normal day farming crystal turned out to be a Therizino versus Spino versus RG fight, so thanks Elite. I felt on top of the world as I clapped the Spino, but then an Ember Wyvern came and it piped me the f down, so I went back to base. I was looking for Stegos in the Lunar Biome, and then notifications of death started popping in, so I knew something was wrong at base. At first, I was very confused and didn't know where the attack was coming from, but it didn't take long to figure that out. Hello, how are you? I am under the water. First, I tried to take him down with my shotgun skills. I figured that wouldn't work as fast as demoing everything around him and having the turrets shoot him. Yeah, he's dead, he's dead, he's dead, he's dead. I got his kit. Just when I thought we were safe. Yep. Turns out that just one floor above us, there were still two people. While I was repairing my flak, my awesome teammates eliminated the threats. There it is. There was indeed the famous pearl spot on Crystal Isles, which helped me farm 80k pearls. I thought it would be a good idea to farm metal with a magma sword and the skiff. Oh, skiff. Oh, okay. Well, the skiff indeed did die pretty quickly. Oh, I'm getting fabbed already. I'm getting aimbotted. Let me get in the skiff. Let me get in the skiff. You have a kit. Do something. Let me get in the, Let me get in the magma. Hello, English. Let me get on the magma sword. Okay. All right. Looking for Steggles, I found the one with 35 HP pre-tame. And when I tamed it, it came out with 48. It came out with 48. See, that's good. Oh, yeah. You all got like 43 with mutagen, right? My guy did minus five. Sheesh. You guys haven't seen the base in a while, but right outside, I had my Steggles. We had some towers and the main base with a bunch of turrets, a gate, and pretty crowded in here. Now, when you're bored in Ark and don't know what to do, there's always an ice cave that you can bully. Bra, 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 come on. I acted like the flamethrower was really hurting me to bait him to my mantis. Knocked his ass out. I planned on having him knocked out for a bit, but out of nowhere he just died. What? For a while I had some fun toying around with them with my Fabby while they just kept flame spamming trying to kill me. Bro, you guys are getting dominated by one kid with a flamethrower. How's it feel? How's it feel? How's it feel? I even got a back, you nut. Get out of here. They tried putting a heavy outside to bother us, but I quickly took it down. After I got bored, the guy who actually lives in there hops in a call with us. His name's LKO, and he taught me a new meta for Golem, Tech Shield. Every time the Golem threw a rock at me, it would rebound right back to it, dying to its own flame. The best thing I got out of this was a Stego BB. This time I got out safely with no resistance. I would come back one more time, and I would actually find one of my old friends. Your gravel. What? Somehow the bastard got out alive out of that one, but I still had one more trick up my sleeve. Once again, the little rat somehow survived the mantis. I have no clue. Maybe the shield saved them. And I thought I was one upping them always until this happened. That was the moment when I said I had enough of Golem for the rest of my Elite Art career, and I went to do something better, which was building a beautiful crafting station and vault drop. There you go, I'll give you 4k. 
Then I decided that he would farm 4k black pearls in exchange of some basic stuff. Last time I tried to farm crystal, I had that huge fight near the Colosseum. Now I would be at Gen 1 and peacefully farm it with the kangaroo. Productive Amin wouldn't end there as he would go with the Terry to farm wood as well. I replaced the ramps around our base with the elevators that elite our Kaz. Hello? Yo. How long until I can join, guys? Um, two minutes. Remember the people that I was griefing in the ice cave? Well, the guy that gave me the shield tip as well, that's LKO, and I ended up joining him and Dopey on the ice cave. I left the ocean pillar not because I didn't like those people, I loved them, but some of them weren't too active. And now I think it's time for me to show you a clip from the beginning of Wipe that I saved for this moment. Oh, you're done for that, Titan. What? You're gonna get one tapped by a Wyvern Breath. No, two tapped. Wait, what do you do? They put like 700 HP. I shield against those things. I don't really die to them. Clipped. I'm, I'll clip it, don't worry. And it's true. What, you think I was gonna die to one? Of course not. Quickly, I bolted the guy and fabbed him off to death. Well, I had to reload quite a few times, but I got him. Now I just need to take down the crit. I shield against those things, I don't really die to them. To not be that guy that joins the tribe and does absolutely nothing but waste the cooldown timer, I decided to farm some metal, not much, just 200k. Then I transferred over to Extinction to get a mana line, ended up finding this guy. I tried to trank dart him, and when I did, it really didn't do much. Come on, come on, come on, come on. My hopes doubled when I hit him again, let's go, oh. and still didn't do much. After 11 minutes and 12 seconds, you've stuck with me, and I really appreciate that. But you should also hit the like button. And after that, join the Discord in the description to join my server. It's 10x6, man. It's the best. Peace.